How to get big, masculine legs. Many people focus mainly on training and developing their upper body. They want broad shoulders, strong pecs, and a six-pack so that they appear masculine and strong. The problem with focusing solely on the upper body is that your legs may begin to look small and scrawny in comparison. Don't skip your leg workout. Instead, incorporate leg strength training into your workout routine and you will have big, masculine legs in no time. Strengthening your leg muscles. Try squats. Squats are an excellent way to strengthen your quad muscles. Place your feet shoulder width apart and then lower your pelvis so that your knees are bent. For proper technique your knees should never go past your toes while you are squatting. You can squat using just your body weight or add additional weights. You can hold free weights in either hand at your side, or use a barbell with extra weight added. If you are using a barbell, hold the bar across your shoulders and keep your back straight. You can squat using just your body weight or add additional weights. You can hold free weights in either hand at your side, or use a barbell with extra weight added. If you are using a barbell, hold the bar across your shoulders and keep your back straight. Include lunges. Lunges are great for working all of your leg muscles at once. Try to include lunges in your strength training routine at least once per week. To do a lunge, stand up straight and then step forward with one foot. Lower your body down towards the ground by bending your knees, hold for a few seconds, and then step back into the starting position. Your back knee should drop down towards the ground while your front knee should bend until it is almost a 90 degree angle. Keep your front knee aligned above your ankle as you drop down. Do an equal number of repetitions on both legs. If you want to increase the resistance of this exercise, then you can hold a dumbbell in each hand. You can also hold a barbell and rest it across the backs of your shoulders for even more of a challenge. Your back knee should drop down towards the ground while your front knee should bend until it is almost a 90 degree angle. Keep your front knee aligned above your ankle as you drop down. Do an equal number of repetitions on both legs. If you want to increase the resistance of this exercise, then you can hold a dumbbell in each hand. You can also hold a barbell and rest it across the backs of your shoulders for even more of a challenge. Do deadlifts. Deadlifts are one of the best ways to strengthen your hamstrings back of your thigh and glutes butt muscles. To perform a deadlift, stand with your feet shoulder width apart and hold a barbell with your desired weight in front of you with your arms at your side. Then, hinge forward from your hips while keeping your abs tight, and slowly lower your arms so that the bar is midway down your calf. While you lower the bar make sure that your back remains straight. Once the bar reaches the mid-calf range pull the bar back up to the rest position using your hips and legs. Then, hinge forward from your hips while keeping your abs tight, and slowly lower your arms so that the bar is midway down your calf. While you lower the bar make sure that your back remains straight. Once the bar reaches the mid-calf range pull the bar back up to the rest position using your hips and legs. Include calf raises in your workout. Stand on a slightly raised surface, such as a step or ledge. Place the balls of your feet on the ledge and let your heels hang off the back. Then, lift your body up onto your toes and hold this position for 2 to 3 seconds. Next, lower yourself back down slowly taking another 2 to 3 seconds. This exercise will strengthen your calves and will lead to muscle growth. You can perform calf raises using just your body weight, or you can hold free weights for a more intense workout or double the resistance by doing single leg calf raises standing on one foot instead of both feet for an even more intense workout. This exercise will strengthen your calves and will lead to muscle growth. You can perform calf raises using just your body weight, or you can hold free weights for a more intense workout or double the resistance by doing single leg calf raises standing on one foot instead of both feet for an even more intense workout. Strengthen your stabilizer muscles using exercise bands. The adductor's inner thigh and abductor's outer thigh are stabilizer muscles in the hips. When strengthened they can prevent injury and help with movement in the hips and pelvis. To strengthen these muscles, place exercise bands around your ankles, or below or above your knees. Then, try lifting one leg to the side while the other one remains planted. Repeat with both legs. Alternatively, you could bend your legs slightly into a squat position and then take small side steps in one direction. Repeat the exercise while moving in the opposite direction. Do Swiss ball squeezes to work the inner thighs. An easy way to work your inner thighs is to squeeze a Swiss ball between your knees. You can do this while sitting, laying on your back, or even in the bridge position. 
Place the ball between your knees and squeeze your thighs inward to compress the ball. Hold the squeeze for a few seconds, and then release, rest for a few seconds, and repeat as many times as you like. Use isolation movements to add tone. Most of your leg training should rely on free weights, but you can use the leg curl and leg extension machines to help tone your leg muscles. Do not use too much weight because this could cause muscular imbalance or even patellar tendinitis. Instead, use a low to moderate resistance with high repetition. This will help to give your hamstrings and quads nice definition.